Okay guys, so now what we're gonna do is to optimize the software to our hardware. If you remember, we used the Prusa i3 MK2 template on CUDA to set up our printer, but it is absolutely not optimized for our printer. To check out the maximums that we really have in our printer, we are gonna use Printerface. The first thing we're gonna do is go to printerface.com and download the software. We'll go down to download, latest release. We'll click on Mac, it is the same on Windows. Download the file. It is a portable app, but anyways, we'll drag and drop it in our applications folder. Once we do that, we will have it in our launchpad. So we will open it. All right, so it says, it can't be open because it comes from an unknown developer, so we will have to go to Apple, Preferences, Security and Privacy, and now we'll press Open. Open, and now it's working. All right, so the next thing we need to do is to connect our 3D printer via the USB cable that came with the printer. And we will choose here the port, and it may vary in every computer, but in my case, I think it's the A600FCGP. And we will choose the 250,000 baud, and we will click Connect. Now, if it works, we will be able to move every axis from here. We will press Auto Home. All right, so the manufacturers say that the printer is able to print in a 20 by 20 by 20 volume but this is not true because it's just Chinese so we're gonna check our real measures we will start with the x-axis if we bring the x to zero we're gonna move the extruder to the right 10 by 10 millimeters each time right now the x is 100 so we're gonna continue and 80, 90, and here it fails. So we're gonna auto home the X again, and we're gonna move it 190, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And now we're gonna use the one millimeter steps. So 91 and the 92 failed. So our max measure for the x-axis will be 191 millimeters. Now we will open CUDA and in CUDA we will go to Ultimate CUDA Preferences, Printers and we will choose our new printer. So printer settings and as maximum x it was 250 but <coughs> in our case it's 191 millimeters. All right. Now we're gonna check the max size of the y-axis, so we will auto home and we're gonna put the x-axis more or less in the middle at 100 millimeters and we will auto home the y-axis. So now we have to move the y-axis until it starts failing, so 100 and now with steps of 10 millimeters. 170, 180, 190. All right, we have 200 here, and now we will start one by one. 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and it fails here. So we'll auto home the y axis again. It failed at 208. So our maximum will be 208. We'll introduce it in CUDA. Now we're gonna check the Z axis. So we'll move the nozzle to the middle and we'll start going up <coughs> the Z axis. We'll start with 10. We'll bring it to 100 millimeters. We'll continue to 140. Okay, it reached 140, so we'll continue to 160. 
180. I don't know why, but we can't move the z-axis to a higher position. Maybe it's limited by the firmware of the printer. Anyways, we are gonna set for a maximum of 210 millimeters. Now we're gonna modify the G-code that the printer uses. So it looks okay. And at the end of the print, we will change this value. It is X0 and Y210. We will make it back to home. Okay, we are ready. Now we have our printer optimized. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is to repeat the print of the 3D Benchy that we did in the last video and compare the quality. For that, I will use this time this great PLA. So let's go to CUDA and we will drag and drop here the 3D Benchy that we downloaded the last time. And here we have it. If we go to the layer view, we can see our Benchy and the settings that we used in our last print. We reduced the temperature of the base to 50 degrees and the speed to 30 instead of 40. Now save it in a file and save it in our desktop. All right. Now we can load the file into the SD card. Now we're gonna put the SD card back into the printer and in the menu. As always, we're gonna go to print from SD and select the 3D Benchy second test. And here we have our print started. Alright, so here we have our new Benchy in the right hand side. Despite the print failed, we can see a lot of improvements in the deformations of the bottom layers of the boat. And that's because of the changes that we did to reduce the vibrations and adjust the correct temperatures for the printer. If you like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and feel free to leave any comments if you have any questions or any suggestions. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel here and please consider to support me on Patreon to keep making it possible. For regular updates in my future projects, you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram as architects3dp. I will link you my accounts down in the description. See you on the next video.